dudes, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. As you guys can see, we just got back with the Evo, just running some basic errands on our day off. And now we're here to work on the MR2, continue working on it. We did just drop the engine out of here, got the body harness off, tons of stuff going on. Let's not get too far ahead. Let's go ahead and jump straight into what's going on today. All right, dudes, first things first is I will show you we got some fresh wheels on the MR2. I did not want to get fresh wheels on the MR2. If you guys do remember, I had these black, ugly 17 inch rims right here. This had a horrible concave on them, but they were fresh tires, so I just couldn't get rid of them until I found out, or until I found this deal. Stock S2000 exhaust, AP1 wheels, new tires in the front, used ones in the back. He wanted, he was moving on the fly, needing them picked up immediately. He wanted for all four wheels and tires and the S2000 exhaust, $100. $100 for all four of these and that exhaust system, which I'll probably sell for hundred bucks uh, to make all this free. It was a ridiculous deal. I couldn't pass it up. These things are going for like 400 bucks right now. So that is why you guys see the S2000 wheels on the MR2. And if you look those up, before I get my suspension, you see mine, they look freaking awesome uh, when they're lowered on these wheels. So I really am excited about getting that phenomenal deal. All right, so we obviously did just drop our engine out, which we'll talk about in a second, but let's first talk about our wiring service. One of the most important, biggest thing that's happening today. This is the body harness off of the MR2, okay? I did just pull this thing off just to show you guys the body harness. This is described on Eric Hux's website, which we'll talk about him in a second here. But down here, right where this kick panel is, it just disconnects there. This runs along this line. If you jump behind here, behind this seat, you'd pull this carpet back. And as you can see, there's a little hole right there. So you literally just take that body harness right from there, all the way through there, pops back throughout this part, right back there. And then as it runs along this line and then it ends up going down into there and then through the engine or through the uh, trunk here into the lights that part is the part of the lights i mean it literally runs from lights all the way down that panel to where i just showed you in the front near the kick panel and then when it goes to the fuse box in the trunk this is the engine harness that branches off of we'll be taking this body harness and we also sourced out our rsx engine harness and eric hux will be integrating the rsx harness with the MR2 body harness to be not only plug and play, simple, simple, but also wire tuck. So we'll get rid of every single wire that we're not using and it will be nice, clean, simple, easy. That fuse up box will be gone. That fuse box will be gone. Instead, it'll have like a little, a little plaque in the back right behind the driver's seat that is gonna have my fuse, my new fuse box as well as the computer system goes right there which is gonna be really nice and easy for tuning and plugging into it nice and simple. So super excited about getting this done. I know this is gonna take some weeks, so this is a, a huge step of ours because remember we're about to do our fresh rebuild on the k24a3 over here we got our ep3 transmission a couple episodes ago and uh hopefully our last part comes in which i'll talk about the parts in a second here we're waiting on one part and then we can finally do the fresh rebuild get the transmission and clutch job on here and then hopefully within that time the body harness engine harness from the rsx are back mind you guys this is the rsx uh charge harness if you do get if you guys are doing this swap you need an RSX engine harness with a matching charge harness, okay? This is, you can get automatic, base model, Type S, doesn't even matter, save money if you can. This is off an O2 automatic base model with a matching charge harness, but it doesn't matter because Eric can take these and integrate it with this no matter what. So we'll be taking these, sending these out, and getting that stuff done. In the meantime though, getting that, uh, as soon as I pulled the body harness off, I was like, what am I doing? I should just drop the, the whole engine, so I did. So we got the engine out so we can start cleaning the engine bay out. This is 30 year old paint, the outside's not even that nice, right? Which means the inside is even nastier. So let's go ahead before we even talk about this is show this engine bay. Now, guys, I wanna show you really quickly right here. These are some pictures of what this engine bay looked like when I first pulled it out. It was absolutely ridiculous. I was thinking to myself, all right, basically, I'm gonna keep the old paint on the car. I'm gonna take this to, I'm gonna put the suspension back on and take this to my paint guy and I'm gonna have him refresh the inside of this engine bay to look immaculate, brand new showroom condition. Uh, that way, when you pop the hood, it looks sweet, but outside it looks nasty, right? But I started cleaning off, just regular cleaning, and look at this stuff now. I mean, it came out ridiculous. So, I mean, that's really, really good in comparison to what it used to look like. I mean, it used to be super nasty. So I'll probably go in here and compound it, uh, wax it, polish it, all that good stuff, and really see how it comes out, because right now it's at like 70%, and then we'll go back to it. But really excited that that thing cleaned up. And uh, as you guys can see, it is fresh to death in here. So we're just cleaning all this crap out. I also pulled out, just to show you up close now, this is the subframe. 
Look at the subframe, man. Look how nasty and grimy and how thick it was. That's how the engine bay was. It was yeah, I was literally taking a plastic scraper and just scraping off humongous layers. So this subframe will get changed out. We will be changing out the sway bar, mind you guys, because we'll be doing full suspension on this car to make it safe because these uh, really old, nasty suspension. But uh, that is that. So clean that up. Engine bay came out so, so good. And this is the disgusting old motor that we have that now we're just gonna junk and get rid of, okay? And we'll be popping it in this K-Series very soon. And we'll be doing that with some new products here, which is from Eric Hux. Once again, these are the motor mounts for the K-Series into the MR2. I did decide to go with the poly mounts instead of the solid ones, which a lot of people do. After talking to him, even at my huge power goal, he said these things are so solid that I don't need to worry about getting the solid mounts if I don't want to. The poly mounts are gonna be very, very stable, especially since it's a four uh, system. It has uh, four different spots for the motor mount, so it really holds it stable. On top of that, also Hux made a custom clutch line cable right here. These are all the bolts for this bolt kit right here. I did order on top of the clutch cable, my shift cable bracket, which is in the mail right now. It was on like a two week back order on the way. He hit me up like two days ago and says uh, it should be in the mail any second. So the, that hard, uh, I'm sorry, the um, shift cable bracket is gonna be here. On top of that, we are just waiting on two things actually. I said one earlier, we're waiting on two things. We've been waiting for, I don't know, a month and a half for four pistons to send us the oil pump. Unfortunately, I've talked to them, they're really nice. I guess Japan is on a back order for the oil pumps. We did do the Type S oil pump and we did the ported four pistons one. So as soon as that gets here, it'll be right here. And then we're also waiting on our Honda water pump. Those are the only two things we're waiting on. And then we can jump over to this engine, strip this thing down, refresh it up really nice. And then we can get our transmission and clutch system all together. Uh, we have a brand new timing chain, new timing guides for all three of the guides. Uh, this is going to be your little timing tensioner with your little pin still in there, brand new one. We also did the RBC 50 degree cam gear in here, the 50 degree intake cam gear. Um, and that's that, man. So we're just waiting on those two components. We'll refresh the engine and then we'll be able to get a clutch kit, put the trans on, and we'll drop it in with these mounts. And hopefully in the meantime, he's already wired, integrated, and sent back the engine harness and the body harness off the MR2. So when the engine's dropped in, we'll be able to plug it in and then just start uh, you know, fiddling with the last little things to get it all together. On top of that, you guys can see we did finally get in. We mentioned it before. This is the AC power steering delete kit for the TSX. This company makes them for RSXs, TSXs, and then combos of each of them. Like you're using a K20 bottom end, but you know, or a, a top end, but I can't even talk. You know what I'm saying. They make different combos. So this one, if you have a straight up K24A3, this is like, or K24A2, I should say, this is the one. The O2 version is the version that's gonna be plug and play for you. I mean, this thing is super nice. It was on back order, guys, so check it out right now. I will put a link in the description so you guys know exactly where to buy this thing from. But that will be going on as soon as we put the rest of this rebuild stuff on, and then we can drop the engine, like I said, in with all this stuff. Uh, just to show you guys, though, you may have caught this on the eyes over here. This is the steel shift box for a Evo 10. All right, guys? Now, these are actually, I cannot find these online anymore. It seems like they're not even made anymore. And this is the only shift, uh, steel shift box I've ever freaking seen besides this, the, T, uh, the TWM company. Josh, my subscriber, is the man. This guy asked him some questions. Me and him went back and forth a little bit, and then we ended up sourcing out. He actually gave me some K-Series advice because he has that, and he has an Evo just like me. Um, and he just sent this to me for free. He had it in his Evo. He decided to go to his stock shift box. He said, hey man, I really appreciate it. I really wanna send you something. Would you take this box? And I said, absolutely. As you guys know, in the Evo over here, we do already have a short shifter with all the bushings and everything, but I'm pretty sure that thing's gonna be a little tighter and we're gonna try it out. Um, unfortunately, they don't make it. I can't even put a link there so everyone can buy it for the Evo. But uh, homie Josh, thank you freaking so much for sending me that thing. That is amazing, dude. All right, dudes, and that is it, guys. Fresh S2000 wheels on the MR2. We have our engine dropped out. We have our harnesses getting sent out to get integrated to come back. And hopefully by that time, we are already doing the rebuild on that engine so we can go ahead and drop that thing in with a fresh trans, with a fresh clutch. We'll show all that stuff, guys. So please do stay tuned for that. Plenty more Evo stuff coming out as well as we have my buddy with the blue one and my other buddy with the red one. Both can be featured on the channel very soon for some installs that you guys will be seeing very shortly. So uh, guys, once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. We will see you in the next video.